She said, ah. Oh. The way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me. guy's gonna come pick me up um so i've been seeing this one guy he's going to i'm just staying with them for two days well like kind of a day today it's saturday and then i'm gonna stay with them tomorrow but like not the full day just like a little bit i'm excited how's the hair look i just like i didn't really do anything to it but i hope it looks good does it tell me in the comments I'm gonna go home and do my makeup and everything, but I hope it looks good. Okay, so I've been struggling with like a five o'clock shadow. Like this is literally right after I shave and everything. Like you can still see everything. So I just lasered my face myself with this like IPL thing. I haven't done it in so long. I think I'm just gonna start doing it at least like twice a week. That's what it says on the thing. But I'm just so sick of it because I want this away. I do so bad. Like it's annoying. Especially like in your transition and like trying to see like who you are. You can't even like really like not wear makeup and like not feel. That's why you never see me like film anymore because I just don't feel like myself like at all. Like I look not like myself, I don't feel like myself. My hair's like literally, I don't know. Like I tr try to do my hair, my friends even straightened it and it just looks, it looks good cause they did a good job, but like it looks awful right now to me and I don't know why. So I'm just gonna, and my face is breaking out. It just is so bad right now. I'm just gonna let the world take its fucking magic and I need to stop eating bad and actually start like getting a skincare routine and like everything and like, yeah, see, like, I don't know. It just, it looks awful. And I need to like stick to a skincare routine cause I keep switching up cause I'm stupid and I keep eating bad cause I'm stupid. Right now I'm making pizza at work, but I, all these extensions, one has already ripped out. I haven't even got it for a month now and one has already ripped out. I'm very confused, and I don't know if I should keep doing that or if I should keep going to the same girl, but then I feel bad because it's like my sister's friend, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, we need to figure it out. This is the outfit without the hoodie. This is what the fit gives without the hoodie. I probably have a, like some pit stains though. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure have some pit stains, it's very nice. Um, but I'm making pizza. I'm excited for tomorrow. I have Saturday and Sunday off, so I'm just gonna spend all day like cleaning tomorrow. And then on Sunday, I'm gonna go to Oklahoma City with my family and like go shopping and everything. I need to like stop spending because next week I'm getting laser too. So I have like, a lot planned. I'm gonna get laser on the face on Monday, then like I think I'm gonna get my hair done like Friday or something. I don't know, we'll see. But this is the fit for today. So cute and no. I don't know. I know everyone's probably like mad at me that I don't post as much anymore. And I'm sorry. I'm like trying. But I have never been so sad in my life. Um, ever since Gabriel died, I literally just, like, can't um, function. I don't know how to function. And I'm trying so hard. But, like, I don't know. I just had already so much on my plate when he was here. Like, I had to worry about him every day. And just, like... I don't know, he faked cancer and all this shit, so I had to worry about random fake cancer and then him leaving me. Like, I was literally freaked out every day that he would leave me because 
the cancer, but no, he had other plans, which we don't even have to talk about that. But I just, it's just, it's just a lot. Like at the end of the day, like filming every day, I have, I'm going through a weird transition in my life of like not seeing myself in me anymore. Like right now I see myself, but like still there's some insecurities like my hair right now. I just don't like it. Um, there's just so much random stuff that I need to work on. So that's what I'm working on. I'm so excited for this pizza. I just now started working out again. Um, I'll probably start though on like literally Monday because I worked out like once. No, babe, you never started working out again. You worked out once. So that's cute. Um, I'm lying to you again. I'm, oh wait, what? I'm lying to you guys at this point. I can't even speak and I'm not even like lit. That's the sad part. Um, but yeah, I just don't hate on me. I'm not being lazy. I'm just as sad as fuck. And I keep going on dates trying to, cause like there was this weird thing. Gabriel always told me like, he'll find me in his next life. Like he always told, he always told me this, like that he would find me again. Cause I don't know. I just thought it was because of the cancer, but no, I think he had his suicide planned like the whole time he knew me and that's like the scary part, but I'm just trying to heal from it and that's why I haven't been posting and you guys see me like happy on here, but and, like on Snapchat, but I'm really not happy at all. I don't know where I'm at in life. I'm losing money rapidly and not gaining any because I just keep spending it on stupid things that I don't even use and then I spend it on hair that rips out in like less than a month and then I spend it on nails that literally don't last two weeks so and then just on clothes that I don't even wear so it's a lot Tonight I am gonna go through my clothes and like see which ones I like, what I don't like. Cause I tried on a lot of clothes before work and I barely liked any of them. So something's wrong, something's off. I'm very annoyed about it. I'm excited to eat this pizza though, fuck. And I just need to start working on myself. I deleted all the dating apps because I'm not trying to find another Gabriel. For a while I was, cause he said he would come back to me. Like, and he always kept saying that. He was like, I'll find you again, okay? Like, just keep looking for me and bull. That's what he said when he was live. I know it sounds so weird, but he kept saying, if I like leave you or if I die, I will come back and find you. And I was like, oh, okay. I just thought it was of the cancer, but no. Um, which, I need to start getting smarter. Um, I think I was just too lit 24-7, so I didn't know what life was or anything. But yeah, I'm just sad without him, and I can barely function. It's just weird. It's like having a guy, like, I tell him, it wasn't even about a guy. It was just about a best friend, a soulmate, everything. Like, he was my everything. I didn't even talk to my friends about or still don't talk to my friends about like my life problems or anything like it's not giving that for my friends I have now I mean it could be but everyone has their own lives and I don't want to put my own struggles onto them and I just I don't know Gabriel was there for me when they weren't and my stomach is growling, babe. It's literally like, feed me. I starved myself all day because I literally binged out like last night so much food. It was disgusting. I should have been like fucking off this planet of the earth for that. Um, I binged out too much. But yeah, I shouldn't even keep talking about it. But Gabriel was the only person I had in my life to like listen to anything I said. And like the cops, they have my his phone and they were like thinking I was like killing them or try to kill them. It's all this weirdo shit. Just because of how me and him talk to each other and like I don't know. They just don't get it. So I've been going through that drama and everything and it's just annoying because 
his dad's like accusing me of not killing him but he thinks like I did something to Gabriel and I'm like they were in two different like cities like what do you mean like what and like if I did something what maybe you would do something what the fuck is this like I don't know I just I'm getting blamed for a lot of stuff that I didn't do and a lot of stuff that is taken out of context between me and Gabriel when it's no one's business except me and Gabriel. And the only ones that are gonna get it is me and Gabriel. So I just, it's a lot. So I can't even talk to his dad cause then his dad is like saying, hey, I checked your guys' messages. They were sketch, you were like smoking him out. Babe, he wanted to smoke. Weed's not like, weed's not a weird thing. Like, I'm very confused why they thought I was, like, drugging him. Like, what? Drugging my weed. I'm very confused about that. So I'm going through all of this. But wish me luck. I'm gonna go edit this video and just post it real quick. Because might as well.